Hello everyone, it's Winona the left-handed beater and I've been gone for a few days. Um, the last video I did was with my niece, my great niece Ava. We had, we had a blast together, she's quite the kid. And um, the last day she was here, well, I, sent, I took her home early because my mom um, was down a few weeks before and her cat wasn't feeling well and her cat is her companion she lives by herself she's um, she's gonna be 83 fairly soon very independent but still she's by herself and her cat was her constant companion and um, Thursday last week she called or she messaged me and said she was taking Mally to the vet and I suspected that something was bad. So I called her and said, um, do you want me to come up and, and be with you? And she's like, no, 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 because my granddaughter was coming for her first sleepover that night. And truly, I didn't want to miss that. So I phoned my sister and said, can you be with mom today? And later that night, my mom called and they ran the tests and, excuse me, <laughs> sorry. Um, Mally had feline cancer and they had to put him down. So I ran up Friday morning, I ran up to Regina to be with my mom for a few days to help her. And I had a medical appointment, so I, ha I don't drive. Um, I used to drive, I used to be independent until I got neuropathy in my feet. But anyway, um, my son took me up and we took Ava home. We took my granddaughter home and um, I stayed with mom for a few days and then she brought me home the day after my medical appointment and she visited with me here a bit as well. And um, she went home yesterday. And tomorrow we have a family um, get together and it's the first since COVID. So I thought I wanted to make myself a necklace to go along with my top and I just have to quit crying here for a moment and I'll be ready to start. And again, I apologize. Anyway. This is the top that I, I am wearing tomorrow. So I, I pulled beads together last night. And here's my messy tray of my beads. I'll pull this sweater to the, to the shirt to the side, sorry. And I'll just kind of bring it all into view. So I pulled all of these beads out of different um, beadbox subscriptions that I've received in the last little while. And basically anything that kind of went with the color theme. These are my rejects that I didn't use. And here's some more. And then here are some of this more of the silver components. This was a necklace I picked up at um, Value Village, which is a, a, a thrift shop in Canada. Excuse my nails, I was gardening. I, I was pulling weeds yesterday. And um, I thought I would use some of it, but I ended up not going that route. I thought I was going to go very chunky, um, but I ended up going very delicate. I thought I might use this in it, and then I thought, you know what, that's not going to show against the black. It was, it was quite fun. So, these are the rejects that I didn't use, but I will probably be using the clasps. So, so I'm going to put them to the side for now. Actually, maybe not. And maybe the chain, so I'll put that to the side. But the rest, I don't think I'll be using. So then last night, I pulled together some beads. And this is what I've got. I've got a mess. So I, I'll take these out because this is a little bit ahead of where I'm at right now. So I pulled out um, sorry about this. I pulled out these beads. And I wasn't sure. I had thought maybe I would go with these beautiful um, connectors from AliExpress instead of the butterflies. But I kind of liked the butterflies in the end. So I ended up going with this. And originally it all started was I was going to use... Sorry for my sniffling. I was going to use this um, chain reaction from Jesse James Beads. And then when I had this all laid out and I was starting to, I, I, I thought I could string it 
and then when I realized that I couldn't because I was going to use this, I thought, okay, I'll make units and put them together, and then in the end, this didn't work out. But I might make another necklace to go with, a shorter one to go with out of this. And that's why these components, I pulled another chain reaction. And, and these, I think these were out of the Darling Bee box. I can't remember. But I pulled those and put this chain reaction. And then I pulled this thinking maybe I could use this with them as well. So then last night I started putting my components together. So I've got components like this. And then I've got components like this. And just a single bead. I can't remember if this is Howlite. It looks very similar to Howlite though. And then the other component I have is this. So I've done half the necklace and I thought I would do the other half with you and um, just work while I talk. Work while I talk. So I went away for a few days. Um, I had weeded half my garden, my vegetable garden. I don't have a big vegetable garden. And I can sit on my butt and weed for hours. I like that. But anyway, I got about half of it done and the other half wasn't bad. It was just, you know, right beside the plants. I came home and that part of the garden was covered in, oh sorry, what we call here, I'm gonna move this over here. What we call here, porchlaca. I think it's called, and I might be saying this wrong, purslane or something like that. And it's supposed to be edible and really good for you. And I could probably feed an army with what was growing in my garden. But thankfully, it doesn't take long to pull. But it sure, my garden was pretty wet because it is extremely dry here. Like, um, oh, where did I put these? I don't remember it ever, ever having so many years in a row with this dryness. And I honestly don't know what we're gonna do if, if it continues next year, because our water table is so low now. But, so when I got home, because we, um, we're cattle farmers and my husband's busy making hay and he's, he's hardly home in the summer, he's out in the field before I get up and I'm usually in bed before he comes in. But um, he didn't have time to really water. He watered, but not like really, really good. So I spent the first day home, I spent watering everything really well. And then when I decided to weed yesterday, I wasn't going to because it's like 33 degrees here. It's extremely hot, but um, I couldn't take it. They were, they were just, um, there were just too many weeds. So anyway, um, it was muddy, it was super muddy. <laughs> so my nails, I, I, they actually hurt when I came in because I, of course, I, I just walked by it. I, Mom was showing me how big some of my grapes were and I walked by it, I can't see that hole. And I thought, I can't leave this go, I have to do it. So I didn't have my gloves on. So I got all the mud underneath my fingernails and um, I got in I, I went and it came in once to rest and washed up and went out again and came in later and my nails, my, my fingers hurt under my nails because I had so much mud caked under them. So in the end I had to cut my fingernails really short because I couldn't get all the mud out. Woe to me, hey? Talk about complaints. Like people have it way worse than here, but it doesn't matter. It, it, it's, it's bad for everyone. <laughs> I don't know, I, honestly, um, we've had hot stretches before, but usually, like we've had summers. I know the summer my dad passed away, um, it was, 36th the day of his funeral and it's Celsius here in Canada. I don't I don't really know Fahrenheit that well but um, It was hot 
but usually what happens then is later in the day or maybe even in the evening you'll have a big thunder boomer come through and it'll it'll rain and cool things off and you'll get some moisture we've had very little we had very little snow and we have very little rain this year like um, I'm even worried cutting hay with the machines that you know every every vehicle has to have a fire extinguisher in it because you're worried that you might cause a start a fire and everything's so dry if a spark caused a fire it would just take off I don't remember in my lifetime ever having to worry about stuff like that but and I know weather cyclical but um, this is very extreme. Anyway, I'm, I'm talking woe and behold, because I know like there's, oh my goodness, um, Barrie, Ontario had a tornado go through it yesterday, you know, and de destroyed homes. Like, just summer, 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 summer. And then winter we freeze. So I guess we just can't be happy. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm going on and on about things. I shouldn't be doing that. I should be happy. I get to take my daughter to the, my granddaughter to the lake tomorrow for our family get together. And I, I don't know that little girl, three years old, going on 40. Um, when she was here, we made her a necklace with these big, I ordered some stuff from a lady. Some, I think it was Reader's Digest books. And um, in thanks, when, when I got them, she sent uh, quite a few of these big plastic gemstones. And I thought, oh, they'd be awesome for Nova as she grows up. So I have a box of beads that are set aside for her and they're plastic beads and they were in there. So we dragged them out because I wanted to make her a necklace. Well, she had three of these gemstones she wanted on her necklace and like about five of them on her bracelet. And she wears that necklace almost every day. Doesn't wear the bracelet much. There's way too many of them on there. But anyway, that's fun. And then today, I see a video of her. She's pretending she's a puppy dog. So she's, her mama's throwing her uh, a ball and she goes off the sofa and gets the ball and comes back and just before she puts it gives it to Brett she kind of holds it in her mouth and drops it into the container so then Brett throws the ball again and she she goes off the sofa she goes and she gets about halfway and she stops and then <laughs> then she sticks her leg in the air and Brett's like go go get the ball puppy get the ball She's standing there, or, or leaning on the floor with her, her leg in the air, and she says, "I gotta go, uh, but I, I'm going pee." And she's very, she's potty trained, but Brett's like, "You better not be peeing for real." No, just pretend, just pretend. So instead of fetching her ball, she's there pretending she's a puppy dog going pee on the floor. And I thought, "Oh my goodness, Nova! Only you would think of that." But she's quite a cutie. It's amazing how your heart melts when she says Grandma, Gamma, Gamma Nona, she calls me Gamma Nona. She used to call me Guy No. Guy No. And I would think people who heard that probably think I say no to her all the time, but no. That's what she called me Guy No. I'm almost done. I just have a few more to go. And I would have, if I had known at the start, no, I wouldn't have. I would have wire wrapped these. That's where I'm getting at. Because I'm really enjoying wire wrapping and I would have strung them all together that way. But um, I don't have any wire that's thin enough. So I, I ordered some wire the other day because I used my wire from my Potomac box from last month to do my last necklace. So.
so it's funny. Oh, I can't get that on. This is so bent. It's funny the changes you make when you're designing. And in the end, it's like when I do mini albums and things. Sometimes my end product doesn't look anything like what I envisioned when I started. But that's okay. It's okay. Oops. I want to make earrings as well. And I've kind of got a three strand bracelet. I want to do up for this but I think that'll probably be a separate video because of my upload issues I was very fortunate the last um, video that I uploaded because it went up in a few hours and it was over an hour I thought what the heck a 25 minute video usually takes me 24 hours to upload and an over an hour one it was hour and 14 minutes I think the one I did with Ava and it went up in um, three, two, three hours. Like, so maybe I just need to do longer videos, but I doubt that. It must have just been a good day. Okay, what do I have left? I just have a couple more units to wire wrap, or not to wire wrap, to um, put on here. Hope everything's good in your neck of the world. Um, I know I'm back to the weather again. <laughs> I just saw pictures in Germany of the um, floods and I had dreams last night of floods in the Okanagan and you know like it's dry there too but it, they were horrific dreams that I was having last night. I don't know what was up with that but I did sleep well. I often According to my watch, I often only get about three or four hours sleep a night. I know I don't sleep well. Um, and I find if I get six on my watch, I'm having a good day because I, I feel like I've slept really well. And I can t tell that before I look at my watch. I think I need to get new glasses. I need to make an appointment. I think, I think my doctor's retired. I have to find a new one. Oops, don't lose that. But I am really enjoying um, this jewelry journey that I'm on, this beading journey. I um, And I'm thankful for all my new subscribers. I've had a few new subscribers the last little while, and I want to thank each and every one of you. Um, Sometimes I, I wonder what I'm doing, but but I am sure enjoying it. And you know, I was I did put my Sam's bead box on hold for the summer, and I think I'm getting the next, like the July one. I think I saw that it shipped, but the next one I think I put on hold, and I'm debating maybe I shouldn't because it was sure nice to go grab from all those different boxes. Like some of these are from Potomac, I know. I, I think I think these two are. Um, I think this is Darling Beads. This is Best um, Bargain Bead Box. Some of them I think I bought from after, but um, I sure say I'm a lot. Um, <laughs> but it's nice to have a stash and you can just go and, you know, you, you choose your, what you want and away you go. So I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to try to just open, open jump rings and attach and see how that go or open the, I, my, um, what are these called? My little loops and attach the beads that way without jump rings. We'll see how that goes. Um, Cause I think this necklace is gonna be fairly long as it is. And I don't wanna add any more length. We'll see how that goes. And then I have to open this one. Oh, that side's not the side that opens. Or maybe it was. There 
we go. And we'll put the butterfly on. And we'll close it. I think I need my other pliers. I think that's my problem. Just a sec, I'm gonna grab them. There we go. So now we have to open this bead. So it'll be good to see everyone I haven't seen. Like my family is, is big and it's very close. Like even my aunts and uncles and cousins and that, we, we usually get together at least a couple of times a year. And um, it's gonna be so nice to see everyone again. I'm hoping everyone's had both COVID shots. I've had mine. There we go. Oh, let's hope this is right. I'm sitting here. If you could see me, I got my tongue sticking out. You know, just having it in the right spot. So that's what we have so far. I think that's pretty. So now we'll grab this one and we'll open it up. And we'll, oh, my fingers are cramping. And we'll attach it. I probably would have been quicker if I had done it as I was making the jump ring, the loops, but that would have been a lot of thinking. Trying to think what else I've been up to. I did a bit of shopping in the city. I got supplies. I'm going to paint my cupboards. I've been wanting to do that for, I think, since 2014. My mom, myself, my two sons, who were adults and are adults now. Um, And um, we went in one car, and my sister and her husband and their, their adult daughter and their granddaughter went in their car, and we took a road trip to BC. We have relatives in BC, and we went to Victoria, and there were quite a few cruise ships in town, so we couldn't get a, a, a room. So I did, I went on the internet and I found us rooms in Souk, which isn't far out of um, Victoria. And I do not like being in, with around lots of people. I have little panic attacks. Okay, now what have I done? So um, I loved Souk, oh my goodness. I would move there. It's close enough to the city that if you wanna get, um, if you want to go to Victoria, it's not long to get there. Um, it's not touristy. Well, it didn't hurt that the hotel was absolutely gorgeous. Brand new hotel. Um, you had a TV in the bathroom. So when you had a bath, you could watch TV. I may have to put jump rings here because these butterflies are kind of kinking up on me. So then this goes this way, right? Yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, you could watch TV in the bathroom. And Anyway, we went shopping. Mom and I went to the, you know, the thrift shops and the unique little um, um, art galleries. And because I've always been into different art kind of things. And I like to see what the local artists are doing. And in one of the shops, they sold some chalk paint. And I love the colors. So I bought chalk paint to do my cupboards. Haven't done them. So when we were in Regina the other day, I picked up, you know what, I'm gonna add a jump ring there right now. Cause I think I'm gonna need them. And I've got these oval jump rings I got off of um, AliExpress. And they're all different sizes, but I think there's some silver ones down here. I think that's too small. That would be okay. Anyway, I bought this chalk paint and I haven't used it yet. So in Regina the other day, I went to Home Depot and bought some paint to paint the inside of my cupboards. 
and I bought hinges and new drawer pulls and that's what I'm gonna work on my next project for the summer. I have oak. They redid the cupboard fronts in our house and they're oak but it's only like one quarter inch oak and it's not finished. Oopsie. Like the varnish is wasn't thick so it's kind of rough textured and the finishing nails weren't set so they keep coming out so I'll, I'll do all that oh man Winona before I paint this might be too thick for this I could use one of these no I couldn't because they won't they don't open I was thinking I could use one of the little shiny ones but do I need to open this more Ow, I got my fingernail stuck in there. Okay, there we go. I'll have to go back after and put jump rings in there. Oh, this is still open. Oh God, sorry about that. That little cry to the Lord just came out. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, Winona. Now I can't even see where I dropped it. Can you see? I can't see. Oh, I see it now. It's really hard when you cut your fingernails so short because you can't really use them to grab on. And the oval jump rings, well, I think it's less chance of it coming apart then because it, it, it'll it always hang at the skinny part and then the opening is at the fatter part of the oval, so or the wider part of the oval. Anyway, I'm gonna put my glasses on, my, my beading, my great funky, glasses I have here. I'm going to put those on and see if that helps me out here. Because maybe I can see what I'm doing then. Okay. And then we'll do this one. This makes a huge difference. Oh, I forgot to do that one. Anyway, this is going to take me a little while. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera off and I'm going to finish stringing these all together and then I'll come back and we'll see how I'm going to finish this because I'm not sure how, how low that's going to lie yet. So anyway, I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, I'm back. I ended up not using some of the components that I put together. Um, this necklace, I, I don't want it to be too long. I, I want it to just hang just above the neckline of the, the shirt. So, um, I think this is the length I'm going to make it and I just need to put on my clasps. And in that monthly box, there were these beautiful butterfly clasps. So I'm going to use that. Now I hope this jump ring is big enough. We will see. I wonder if I should put a bigger jump ring on there. Oh, I'm opening these here. We'll see how they work. It took me a long time. It took me um, over an hour to do this. Let's see. So we'll put this on the end. And then we'll put this on. Oops. <laughs> oh man. I don't know why I can't hold this plier tight. I, I'm constantly losing what I, I've grabbed. Oops, that's not the end. I've grabbed with it. So there we go. 
and putting on those um, magnifiers. Oh, come on, Winona. It really helped me. Um, I noticed some of my rings or my loops weren't closed very well. So it really made a difference. Now let's see if I can do this without. There we go. Got that one on. And I'm going to put these on and then I'm going to pause the video again and gather up the stuff for my bracelets because now that, oops, that's not open wide enough. I don't know how um, Ava did that with her hands. These are hard to open. Anyway, um, now that I have some extra components, I think those might be one of the bracelets. And, and I'll do three bracelets and I'll do one stretchy bracelet, uh, a three strand bracelet and one stretchy bracelet, and I still have a few things to gather for supplies to do that. So here we go. Oopsie. I don't think I'm gonna use the chain reaction. I have a lot to clean up now because I've got a huge mess here. But here's my necklace for today. And there we go. I think it'll look nice. And it really matches my top, which I think is, is the most important thing. So anyway, I'll be back right back with the bracelets. Okay, I'm back and I have laid out um, my plan for some earrings. So I'm just gonna grab two ball head pins. Two. And these are from Dollarama, they're awesome. And two ear wires. Now I've got these backings, which I think, well, let's see what ear wires I choose first. First, I should say. I think I'll just choose normal ones. Nothing too fancy. Okay, there we go. And put those back. I don't know why I feel a little bit dizzy that today. I don't know. I think I maybe got too much sun yesterday. So we'll stick that up there and then I've got a, one of these little sparkles because I just have to have sparkle. And one of these, I don't know what they're called. They're kind of ovalish. And one of these. Find my pliers and we'll bend that down. And then I haven't done any wire wrapping for a week and I think I forgot how to do it. So we'll bring that and then I'll reposition. And before I put it on there, I'm not sure if this is going to hang right. I really struggle with those spatial things. But I prefer to wire wrap because I know it's not going to come off then. So I got that there. I'll grab my other pliers. And I'm not the best at this, but you know what? I am sometimes a real stickler for, for, for perfection, but one thing doing junk journals has taught me is it doesn't need to be perfect. So I'll reposition this. Okay. And it's kind of funky looking, but you know what? It's done. I can fix it after. I'm going to clip off this here. There we go. And I'll fix this loop up a bit. It kind of went wonky on me. I guess I could have used one of my fancy head pins.
Actually, they might have looked nice. Oh, you know what? I need to find my glasses again because I can't see worth the darn. Oops, sorry. Sorry, sorry. I moved the camera set up a bit while I was setting up and my head just hit it. Is it still? Hopefully it'll settle down. I'm going to have to order a new hanger. One that doesn't buy, uh, move so much. Okay, I can't catch that. It's oh shoot, I hit my head again. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna move my setup so my head doesn't hit it, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I'm gonna have a lot of editing to do today. Hopefully this setup will work better. It was my, um, my, magnifier things here that were, oops, we're hitting the camera. I know I mention this every video about my fingers and that, but I don't have feeling in my fingertips, or I have very little feeling in my fingertips um, due to neuropathy. And I think beading is an awesome way to, you know, work with them because I think, you know, you just kind of give in to things like that and and that's where you're gonna be the rest of your life. And I'm determined that I'm not gonna let my health problems rule my life. So anyway, we'll take this and we'll turn it. Oops. But anyway, that's why I keep dropping things. I keep. Some days it's worse than others. And, and when I cut my fingernails so short, that makes it really bad. Okay, I need to slide this on. But don't you think it's cool? You, you know, yeah. From these bead boxes, um, I buy a new top and I can make jewelry to match it. So I guess getting these subscriptions isn't such a bad thing and not doing them right away either and just putting them away because now I've combined a few and I've got a wonky one again here, but I've combined a few. Oh, what happened here? My screen froze, but it's still filming. Okay. So anyway, I've combined a few uh, bo subscription boxes and I'm able to make my jewelry. Mind you, it's taking me all day to do it, but I can't do much else anyway. I can't be on my feet for long. So that limits a lot of what you do and I'm determined I'm not gonna become a person that sits and watches TV all day because that's just not me. I hardly watch TV. So I sit and make my videos or craft. But truthfully, um, my last chemo session was over three years ago and it's only been the last few months or so that I feel like I can create again. Oh, I'm off camera, I'm so sorry. For so long, I couldn't create. All I did was organize. That's not my best job, but it'll do. Anyway, get that through there. So now I have, did I bend that? Oh, that's just the way it goes. So now I have two pairs of earrings to go along with my, um, my necklace. So at the end of the video, I'll, I'll show you pictures of everything. So this was my 
idea for my bracelet after I had those extra parts. Originally I was going to throw this one in even though I knew these beads didn't really go, but I thought it would bring in the flower from this flower, but now I have an extra flower. So all I need to do is make a unit of these beads here, if I can find the hole. And then uh, um, that's going to be one strand in my bracelet. And I don't know, I've never done this before, so I don't know how how that will work. I don't have a clasp that has, what do I got here, has um, three things on to, to loop it. So we'll, we'll see. But this time, before I add this, or before I close this, I know I'm using this unit. So I'm just going to add that unit to it before I close it up. And now I messed myself up. There we go. Oh, and I got, I should put these glasses down again so I can see. They're up and down and up and down and, and hit my camera and who knows what else. My husband just came in, uh, a wheel fell off the baler, so he has to make a trip to Mooseman to get parts and, um, Hopefully it's not too serious, but it's like Musaman is 45 minutes away. So he'll be gone for a while. I didn't want to go because I really want to make this jewelry for um, for the weekend here. And I put my jump rings away, so I think I'm just gonna put them in here. Oops, didn't need that many. But oh well glasses down. Boy, there's a lot to remember here. Oops. Dropped it. I've kind of laid out the beads, but I don't know how big I'm going to have to make it. We'll have to play it by ear. I, I said before, I don't like my bracelets tight and I, I retain fluids really badly. So, um, my wrist in the morning might not be anything near what it is in the evening so I have to account for that especially being out in the sun well I won't be out in the sun because I can't take it but being out in the heat okay that's gonna go there and then I need to do this one and we're gonna do pink I still can't believe it. I have never been interested in jewelry my whole life. Well, I shouldn't say that. I've never been interested in making jewelry, like ever. Um, it was just something that I, I thought, well, I'll just buy it. And now I'm just like, just right into it. I think that's kind of silly. Oops. Probably could have driven to the city and back and bought something by the time I finished this, but I don't care. I probably could have opened my jewelry drawer and found something that went with it too, but I wanted to make something. Okay, where did you go? Oh, over here. said um, to my mom, you know, this was really expensive to get into, but now that I'm, 
now that I have most of the things that I want, um, you know, it's not too bad. I really want to dig into those Jesse James kits, but I might not have time till after summer is over. So anyway, let's see. If I drape this on my wrist, oh, that's pretty big. Well, we will. I, I pulled out some big clasps. So I'm going to open this. And I'm going to put the ring on it and put this on it. And I'm going to just close it, not, not worrying too much about how tight it is. I'm just going to close it a bit. And I'm going to do the same for the other side. See how this feels. Keep in mind though that I want to add two other two other strands to this. So let's see. This is really big. I might have to let's see. See oh. I need help. Okay. So that's gonna hang down on on my hand. But that's kind of where I like my bracelets to hang anyway because of the swelling so we'll see I'm gonna like I think I'm gonna love this out of all the jewelry I've made so far I think this is my favorite okay so we'll put this up here you guys don't belong there you belong down here come on behave Okay, so for the next ones, I don't only have 19 strand um, beetle on, so that's what I've got to use. And let's. I really don't know what you should use. It's going to be a little stiff, but I'll cut off a length of it, and I'm probably way too much, but. And. I'm going to, what am I going to do? How do I get this open? Teeth to the rescue. Oh my God, those are tiny. The glasses have to go on again. Okay, I'm going to, where are these things? Put a couple of those guys out. Put the glasses back on. Okay, put a crimp bead on. Good luck. Oh my god, those are tiny. But that's what it says for this wire. Okay, got the crimp bead on. And then I go wire guardian okay we'll slide that through there okay go through go through go through I'm gonna slide the current bead down a bit It. Two through there. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay, well, let's get you on. Note to self, next time you do it, you want to make jewelry, do not cut your nails the day before. It's too tiny. I don't care what the package says. I can't get that in there. So let's try another size crimp. What have I got here? These are number four. That's too big. Well, this is a tube. Let's try one of these. Oh, I don't want to let go of that. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. wonky. We'll put this in here. I'm doing the opposite end because I don't want to take that wire guardian off. Okay. So, put your glasses back down, Winona. That's much easier. pliers. And the first one is back here. And that smooshed it flat. But it didn't. I think I go too far back. Okay. So that's got them both in there. And that's tight. So then you're supposed to do this. Yeah, it worked. Okay, let's snip this. And don't snip your thumb, Winona. I thought I put them out. I guess I didn't. These here to put on and that'll just cover my messy crimping. Come on. I'm off camera. I'm, today I'm either off camera or I'm hitting you. That's too small now. And I never did account for this part of it when I did the bracelet up, so I'll probably have to redo, reduce it. Okay, anyway, this is the best plier. This is for these clamshells. And you just, well, if you can do it, you just get it in there. it's in there okay maybe that's what I'll do I'll get it in there first and then I'll slide this in and I'm just gonna squeeze oh I almost got my finger there but anyway it's got a little a little circle in there so that you can get your um, crimp cover on I should have pulled these together a bit before So I was going to string this bracelet, but I think that bracelet's going to be way too big because it's already on the seven and three quarter. 
So I think what I'm going to do is decide where I'm going to start with this one. Where do I want to start? Because I have no start and stop part. So, oh, I was adding those little guys too. What in the world am I going to do? Okay, we're going to have to design this. We're going to have to kind of design this a bit at the seven and a half. So we will do that. And I wanted to bring the pink in. So I was doing these little guys and then another one of these and then bring these little guys in. This is, I, I'm, I apologize so much. This is gonna be the worst video I've ever done because between me hitting the camera and everything taking so long, um, I, I just apologize. My whining, my indecision, and I thought I was so organized but I just guess not. Oh, I have tweezers. Let me grab my tweezers. That would work much better. Okay, where did the other guy go? See? Well, that's not how it goes. This one, and then this and silver and then red I guess in a way this is what it's like when you're trying to design some jewelry hey okay and then silver how light let's see silver and then this, 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 oopsie, that's not right, and red, I think I can do this, I think, I think this can be, oops, wrong one. that can be our end. So we'll start stringing this and see where we're at. I think I might have to invest in one of the wooden boards like this because I really like it. I, I use these design boards all the time. Makes it so much easier to lay out your bracelet. And I always wear, I have a rose quartz bracelet, beaded bracelet, and I have my medic alert tag on it that I wear whenever I travel. And I wear it on my watch hand. So, um, that's a good idea, you know, if you have a medical alert bracelet, why not make it pretty? I just got, you know, got the tag and um, at that time I wasn't into jewelry making, but I was into crystals. So I had someone make me the, uh, the, um, whatchamacallit, the bracelet and I've worn it ever since. Oops. So it doesn't matter. Well, I guess my watch band is pink too, so it doesn't matter what you, you're you wearing. You're always wearing that with it. I 
Hopefully this will work. Oops. If not, it's teaching me some skills. And I'll just have to wear one strand then. Boy, I don't know if I made this long enough. I don't know if I cut this long enough. Let's see. This one here is this long so far. Oh man, I'm gonna struggle at the end of this. I might not have enough wire. I'm going to have a lot to clean up when I'm done. I'll have to put all those beads away again. Oh boy, this is going to be close. Good. So we'll put the crimp tube on. And we'll put this guy on. And this time I'm going to try to remember to pinch it closed um, a bit just for appearance's sake. Oh my goodness, this is going to be close. When I made my necklace using this kind of wire, I, um, I, I made the necklace right off the strand. And maybe I should do that. Come on. Get you through there. And we'll get you through here. Do any of you struggle like this? Okay, that's through there. That's the side I need to push down. I got it through, I just need to grab it now. Gotcha. Let's pull you down. Do that. How do you pull it? Where should I be pulling this way? And remember, I have to put that crimp cover on, so I need to leave a little space for that. And let's squeeze you together a bit. And I don't want it, I want some, some drape in here. 
maybe a little more than that. Why can't I do this? I feel like I want to use my mouth. Okay, so... Okay, got it. Boy, that looks pr pretty good. Oh, my computer froze again. That looks pretty good. Damn, I hope I was in frame that whole time. So we need one of these crimp covers. So I'll grab one from here. Is that the same? I think so. Oh, let's trim that wire off first. In the wire. And I think what I'll do, because this is getting long, I'm going to string the other one and come back and show you the finished product. Because I seem to be really struggling today. And you don't need to see me do that. So we'll get this on there. way and let gravity <laughs> we'll let gravity be my helper okay don't spin though okay let's get that oops okay that's not gonna work Try again. It just wants to spin on me and then gravity doesn't help. Okay, let's. Well, it's not perfect. it'll do. Okay, I'm going to take a break and I'll be back and show you my finished product and I'll clean up my area for you. See you in a minute. Okay, I'm done and I had quite a few alterations. I ended up taking making the necklace shorter and I took off two of these units and two of these units um, on the necklace. I also ended up making this strand of the bracelet shorter it was just too long and one of these strands I made too tight so I'm hoping oh sorry I hit the camera I'm hoping it'll stretch out a bit but I really love it and it's showing up much darker on the camera than it really is these stones here are um, really really um, a lighter green greenish blue they, they sometimes they shine kind of blue but, and then the butterflies and, and the how light and I just I just think it's gorgeous I hope I don't know if that will loosen up I hope it does if not I may restring it and I had a lot of issues restringing that second strand um, I I did it right off the spool which I thought would make it easier for me and it did 
but my fingers just are not working today. <laughs> I think they're on strike. So, heat strike, maybe. My earrings, I did nothing to them. I, um, I left them as is. And as I said, the necklace is quite a bit shorter. I wanted it to hang in my neckline um, before the start of my, my top. So um, I'm really pleased with it. It goes very well with my top. And I think it's just awesome to have a hobby that you can, um, you can make a, something to go with your outfit. I have to tell you though, <laughs> it took, it's 3.30, I started this at noon. So it's taken me a long time to do this. But what else would I be doing? It's too hot to be outside and my house is clean and it's not time to cook supper yet, so I think I'm pretty good. So anyway, um, if you made it through this video, uh, I, I think it's amazing. Uh, I I blundered a lot. I st struggled. The struggle was real. Um, I hope I was on camera. Um, sometimes when I get concentrating so hard on what I'm doing, I pull it close to me and forget that I am have to work in this area, not this area which you can't see um, but anyway um, I, I wish you lost a lot lots of luck and happiness until we meet again and I'm going to clean up my mess and I can't wait for tomorrow when I can model my new jewelry bye bye